Alright guys, we're doing our second game of Color Wars. Go ahead, Corey, feel free. Jay made that game interesting, didn't he? Put Jay in the blue. I want to out. Who's in the red before? Matthew? Yeah. yeah. And put, uh... Yeah. Okay. Let's give Marty okay. a chance this time. Okay, yeah, let's give Marty a chance. All right, y'all guys, ready? Here we go. Marty, you got the shift key. All right, y'all guys, ready? Let me get the questions out. Just got to wait for Matthew to get back from you getting this drink. All right. They're all good. We just need you to test yours, Marty. The shift key. There we go. Clear the board. Is Matthew back? Matthew's back. All right, hands on y'all um, keyboards, and here's the first question. Which author won the Booker Prize in 1986 for the no for the novel The Old Devils? I ain't trying nice. Yeah, nobody is. Go ahead. The answer is Kingsley Amos. Here's the next question. What U.S. city is nicknamed the Motor City? Quarry. Detroit. That's correct. All right, you going to hit the board or pass it? He's hitting it. He's hitting it. There you go, $100. Got $150. All right, next question. What do the letters P.J. stand for and P.J. Harvey? Matthew. Matthew. Peggy Jones? Huh? Uh -huh. Peggy Jones? That's incorrect. That's incorrect. Anybody else? Anybody else? It's Polly Jean. It's Polly Jean. Polly Jean. Next question. Next question. Who did George Bush Senior defeat in the election in 1988? Corey. Corey. Nixon. Nixon. Not Nixon. Not Nixon. Jay. Jay. Jimmy Carter. Not Jimmy Carter. Not Jimmy Carter. George Bush Sr. Now. Matthew. Matthew. Was it Reagan? Not Reagan. Not Reagan. Marty. Marty. It was Michael Dukakis. Okay, next question. Yeah, next question. What occurs when the sun and the moon are in conjunction as viewed from Earth? Matthew. What type of eclipse? A solar. That's correct. Are you got fifty dollars? You want to play the board or pass it? Go ahead, right, good luck. There you go, two hundred dollars, two hundred fifty dollars. Okay, next question. 
Who is the first female to be featured on the front of a Wheaties box? Matthew. What's your answer, Matthew? Venus Williams. Not Venus Williams. Anybody else? Anybody Quarry. Quarry. I'll try the other, try one. The other Serena. one. Serena. Not Serena Williams. Not Serena Williams. This was before you guys' time. All right, Buzz. Is Mary Lou Redden. And whoever had a little diarrhea exploitus in their pants, you better go white. Right. Okay, here's the next question. Who wrote Charlie and the Chocolate Factory? Quarry. That's correct. You have two uh, boxes on the board. You want to play or pass? He's playing it. There you go. You got a hundred dollars for that. You up to three hundred dollars in there. Here's the next question. What's the only nation that borders both Uruguay and Venezuela? The only nation that borders both Uruguay and Venezuela. Matthew. Brazil. Brazil is right. Yeah, good guess. You got three hundred dollars. You want to play a pass? I'll take it. Good luck. Stay away from the the colored squares. There you go, you got $50 times two. You got another 100, you're up to $400. Next question. What actor played the role of Jack Horner in the movie Boogie Nights? Corey. Travolta. Not Travolta. Anybody else want to try? Nobody? Uh, nobody. Uh, the answer is Burt Reynolds. Burt Reynolds. I was going to say that. Yeah. yeah. All right, next question. Uh, next question. When was the Emancipation Proclamation enacted? Jay. Jay. 1863? 1863 is correct. Wow. You're good at your history, Jay. You have $50. You want to play or pass? I'll play it. Good luck. Good luck. Uh, you hit your own square at $25. Wow. All right, next question. next question. What type of cloud can form a tornado? Matthew. Matthew. Uh, cumulus. 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 We'll take it. Cum we'll take cum it. Nimbus. Yeah. Nimbus. We'll take it. Uh, you have four hundred fifty dollars. You want to play or pass it? Oh boy. I think I'll pass. To who? To who? Um. Well, it worked before. I'll try it again on Marty. Marty, go ahead and hit the board. Oh, Marty is out of the game. Sorry, Marty. No dollars there. All right, we have three people left in the game. Next question. How many dice are used to play Yahtzee? Corey. Five. Five is correct. You have $350. You want to play or pass? And he's passing to you, Matthew. Good luck. There you go. You got $200 more. You got $650. All 
And let me get the next set of questions up, and here is the next question. What is the name of the lead character in the book The Hobbit? Corey. Roto is wrong. Anybody else? Jay. What did you say? Bilbo, B-I-L-B-O. Bilbo will take it. Bilbo Baggins is right. Okay, you have $125, but one blue square. How do you want to play it? I'm passing it. Who you want to pass it to? Corey. Corey. <laughs> Go for it, Corey. If someone's got ESGN. Sorry, forget it. $50 times three is $150, you up to $500. Next question. How many U.S. states are there? Seriously? Trying to buzz in. Well, we'll have to lock y'all guys out. Y'all tied on that one. It's 50 states. Obviously. Okay, here's the next question. What hockey team jersey does Cameron wear in the movie Ferris Bueller Days Off? I know that. I know that. Corey. Uh, Red Wings. That's correct. The Detroit Red Wings, right? What do you want to do, Corey? You got five fifty and four green squares. What do you want to do? It's going to Matthew. Be careful. You hit your own square, $25. 675 and here's the next question. Which organization owns Stonehenge? Which organization owns Stonehenge? Corey. NATO? No, not NATO. Jay or Matthew. Okay, time. It's the English heritage. The okay, next question. What's, what species of poisonous spider has an hourglass pattern on its abdomen? I got it. Matthew. That is the black widow. The black widow is right. Okay, you have $725. You can play or pass. Pass it to Corey. He's going to try to get Corey out of the game. Stay away from those red and blue squares. And ooh, he's out of the game. But he goes with 550. All right, now it's a balanced game. Jay has five squares and Matthew has five squares. Next question. What fashion designer owns Maxim's Restaurant in Paris? Okay, that's time. Pierre Cardin. Okay, we go to the next question. What is Dorothy's last name in the wonderful Wizard of Oz? Time. Gail. It's Gail, right. We'll just uh, go on to the next question. Okay, here's a question. What was Nabia formerly called? What, what was Nabia formerly called? Southwest Africa. Okay, next question. Which captain in Tenille hit was written by Neil Sadaka? That was Love Will Keep Us Together. Love Will Keep Us Together. Next question. Which golf gives its name to the 1911 Gulf War? Excuse me. 
Let me correct that. Which golf gave his name to the 1991 Gulf War? Yes, Jay. Right. I said 1911. I'm sorry about that, y'all. Uh, you have $175. You have five squares. You want to play it or pass it to Matthew? Oh, he's going for it. And you got a blue square of $25. Up to $200. Here's a question. In the computer world, what does the abbreviation RAM stand for? Matthew. You got it right. Good job. You got 775. You want to play or pass it to Jay? Jay, go ahead. Stay away from Matthew's red squares. I right, $50 times 5, that's 250 You're up to $450. Okay, next question. What color moves first in checkers? Nobody want to buzz in? Nobody want to buzz in? I can't even buzz in. All right, clear it up, Corey. Clear it up, Corey. I think well, both of y'all. We're going to be fair on this since he admitted. He admitted. All right, all right. What color moves first on checkers? Go ahead, Matthew. Red is wrong. Red is wrong. Yes, Jay. Yes, Jay. And only leaves one. It's black. You're right. It wasn't the red one. It's the other one. I uh, have five hundred dollars. You want to play it or pass? That got you back. I'm mad. Stay away from the blue. You got $200, that's $1,000. You're up to 1735, not too many squares left. Here's the next question. What is the only American state with its official song taken from a Rodgers and Hammerstein musical? Jay. Oklahoma's right. $50, 550 dollars you want player pass? You pass it to Matthew, stay away from the blue, Matt. You got another $1,200. $2,975, Matthew. All right, next question. Where is Normandy? I'm trying to buzz this. Alright, hang on, we'll clear it out. Clear the board. Be careful, don't click anything when you're uh, shit to between viewers. Go ahead, Matthew. Go ahead, Matthew. I believe it's in France. And I believe you're right. And I believe you're right. Yes. You had 3,000 and a quarter. Do you want to play a pass? Jay, give it to Jay. Jay, go ahead. Stay away from Matthew Square. And that's it, Matthew wins the game. Jay, you go with $550. And we give you another $650, Matthew, on top of everything. You're up to $3,675. That was a good game. All right, let's go on to the bonus round, Matthew. And if you're ready, Matthew, go ahead and... $200, Matthew, go ahead. Another $200, $400. You had $800. Thousand. All right, that's only your first strike. No problem. You have 1,200. 1,400. 
You have 600. Ooh, first strike. No problems at all. Now you lose the strike, you have 1800. Okay, now you got the strike back. All right, you got one more square before you get $25,000. Strike one. Strike two. All right, you lose the strike, you're at 2200. Strike two. Ooh, strike three. All right, now that's strike four, Matthew. Now, you do have $2,200. You hit another of one of your squares. You'll lose your winnings. Your winnings will be cut in half by a score of 1100 and you'll go down to $1,100, I'm saying. So do you want player pass? He's going for it. 2,400. He loses that strike. All right. Same options, Matthew. You want to play or walk away. He's playing. And that's it. So he gets $1,200 for this bonus round. Added to his previous winnings. That gives him... $4,875. All right, guys, and this is Riding1279 Sunny Off saying be safe, be careful, and thanks for supporting my channel. Goodbye, guys.